matchups and everything that we have going on for tonight and for tomorrow. So you guys make sure that, you know, you get yourself ready, write down your notes, put it in your notepad and on your phone if you need to, and let's go ahead and win this money. So let's first and foremost get into the AAC title game, which is going to probably be the best game out of all these um out of all these mid major groups and uh pretty much uh we have this being the AAC title game SMU 10 and 2 Tulane 11 and 1 the minus 3 the over under 46 and a half and uh pretty much when, when this game goes down this is going to be Tulane's toughest game of the season SMU has been you know, chomping at the bit for years to actually hold up that AAC title, and they would love to leave with something, you know, because they are headed to the ACC with uh, both Stanford and um, California as well, uh, Cal as well, too. So, you know, this is their last stand last year in the AAC, and they would love to go ahead and actually be able to say, hey, we won one of these titles uh, sticking around here in the AAC. So pretty much – um. SMU, I just like the way that their passing game sets up, and it's going to give them a lot of problems tomorrow from what I'm seeing here. But I still think Tulane is just way better because they just have been a little bit more battle-tested. You know, they beat USC last year in a ball game. You know, their coach is just improving on to the situation. And, you know, SMU is going to be tough, man. This team is it really, uh, it really evolved this year. They wound up winning their last – eight games of the year after going starting the season off two and two. So they have a lot of things in their favor that makes this team, you know, go and really feel like they can be those guys. So pretty much with that Tulane, I feel like this is the game right here. They're the number 22 team in the nation right now as well. This is a huge game to possibly get them into New Year's Eve bowl as well. They've actually wound up winning their last uh, 10 in a row after losing uh, the second week of the season to Ole Miss. So, you know, this team is um, very battle-tested. They haven't had really any close games except for the Tulsa game and the East Carolina game, but that's because they overlooked their opponents. And uh, pretty much, you know, this is why they feel like a very comfortable favorite in this game as well. So I'm going to go ahead and mark down the minus 160 to Tulane. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it shakes out. And then we move forward from there. All right. So up next.